Zimbabwe faces a surge in grassland fires and associated losses, primarily due to seasonal shifts caused by climate change. The country tried to make efforts to acquire some fire trucks that would help the nation curb fire outbreaks in the country during the fire season, which typically runs from July to December. Hello and welcome again to the Edge Politics Podcast. Geopolitical Queen here with today's episode on how a former Soviet town is hindering Zimbabwe's efforts to combat wildfires that are causing widespread damage to forests, homes, and wildlife in Zimbabwe. In the quest to curb wildfires in Zimbabwe, some trucks were supplied by a company known as Red Lion under an opaque deal engineered by Belarusian arms dealer Alexander Zingman. These fire trucks were being delivered through Lithuania to a port on the Baltic Sea from landlocked Belarus. However, in an unreasonable twist of turns, Lithuania, a small East European country that used to be a Soviet province during the Soviet era, but has now graduated to become one malicious anti-Russian fire spitter, decided to seize 17 trucks in March 2023 with a lousy excuse that the fire trucks or certain components on them were manufactured by a Belarusian company which is currently under European Union sanctions. In February this year, 2024, a Zimbabwean delegation was sent to Lithuania to discuss the confiscation of these 17 fire trucks, which were destined for Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwean media reported. Till today, 12 September 2024, the trucks have not been released and Zimbabweans are suffering from the seasonal wildfires. How long would these entitled Westerners continue to place sanctions on defenseless countries when the lessons we have learned from sanctions is that is the masses who suffer the most as compared to the politicians who are supposed to suffer. The country Zimbabwe has been under Western sanctions for the past 24 years. Has any politician suffered the consequences as compared to the average citizens? How long would some Europeans try to take some history books to read some lessons and teach themselves events that are not supposed to be repeated? Are these not the same Western countries that hold seminars upon ceremonies preaching to African countries about human rights? So how come they have no emotions when the human rights of African countries are concerned? How hypocritical can these entitled Westerners be? Anyway, so what do you think? Is Lithuania's actions of punishing a whole nation by seizing fire trucks meant to combat wildfire affecting the nation as part of measures targeting Russia and Belarus, any act of fighting for human rights for the people of Zimbabwe, or it is just a showmanship 
of pleasant Western countries in their lost Ukraine war against Russia? Well, kindly leave your comments in the comment section below. And thanks for tuning in. I will be back with the next broadcast. Good day.